Apache County has multiple employees who work in the IT field, uh, who have adequate experience, and um, I believe the resources are available within the budget to amend this deplorable uh, sound system that's third years behind the technology in these chambers. Anyone who's present in this room has had to listen to the echo the entire meeting. Um, there is no reason why the internet cannot be utilized so that we can have video teleconferencing capability like so many other counties in the state of Arizona. There's no reason why the same technology can't be used to stream meetings the same way the Navajo Nation does to their constituents. This failure to allow discussion in uh, an item on the agenda so that we can move forward as a community to being more inclusive, to encouraging transparency of government, and to reducing the costs so that the multiple agencies within Apache County government can communicate with each other effectively from remote locations, and that the meetings themselves can be viewed by people who don't have the means or ability or finances to travel hundreds of miles to be in St. John's it seems ludicrous at this point. This is the 21st century. Uh, if, the, if the meetings aren't being digitally recorded by the county, that's also something that needs to start. There should be cameras in the chamber. Uh, if not for security reasons, then just for the purpose of recording the meetings so that there is a permanent visual history of what occurs. And these are all simple upgrades that can be implemented by the people who are already on the payroll for little to no cost. The fact that Wi-Fi is now prohibited from access by members of the public prevents those people who have the ability and the desire to stream these meetings from doing so. So it seems as almost as though there's an attempt to prevent the transparency and openness that the internet could provide and that so many other counties have taken advantage of, and government agencies to include the state. So I'm, I'm hoping that Mr. Shirley and Mr. White will be open to discussing this subject and implementing these upgrades in the nearest possible time in the future at a meeting. Thank you. Mr. Vice Chairman? Yes, sir, Mr. Wagner. I would just like to make sure that the, the public and the press understands that the board has instructed me as the manager over the last several months to come up with a system that will provide video conferencing. We had to wait on Frontier to upgrade the infrastructure in Chin Lee and in Fort Defiance to make that possible. That just occurred in the last uh, month. We have purchased the equipment to accomplish video conferencing and we should have that in place within the next the next uh, few weeks. Um, so I just want to make sure that the public understands that uh, uh, what Mr. Grauer is saying in, in a large part is not true, that we have been working on this for quite a, quite a while. Uh, I know the chairman is, is also looking at uh, uh, video streaming our meetings. So, we do have the, the technology in place. We have the personnel that can do it. We've been working on it for quite a while. We've been mostly waiting on the infrastructure, uh, like I said, in Chinle and Fort Defiance to be able to do that. Just want to make sure that the public understands that, Mr. Mr. Buster. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Winger, for the update. I, I'll make a small correction to that. The, the board direction was not recently uh, I think it was well over a year ago the board asked uh, to look into the cost associated with getting video equipment up in the other uh, other areas. There's been no board action recently, but the update is appreciated, and I'm, I'm appreciative that we're moving towards the capability of improved communication with the public. So uh, thank you very much. 